Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this system of equations x square plus y square equal to 64, a square plus b square equals to 169, and ax plus by equals to 104. And now we are going to find the value of ay minus bx. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first thing I am going to do. Let's go ahead and label these equations. I'm going to call this very first equation as equation number one, this as equation number two, and finally this third one as equation number three. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and multiply out these equations one and two. So let me go ahead and write down the left hand sides of these equations. I'm going to write down a square plus b square first times x square plus y square equals to 169 times 64. Now let's go ahead and multiply these two binomials by using this Rainmo method double distribution that is going to give us a square x square plus a square y square plus b square x square plus b square times y square equals to now let's focus on this right hand side and here i have copied it down and we can see that 169 is a perfect square of 13 square likewise 64 could be written as 8 square so therefore we can write this thing as 13 square times 8 square and this could also be written as 13 times 8 and then a whole square by using the rules of exponents. And now let's multiply out this one. 13 times 8 is 104. Therefore, this whole thing is going to become 104 whole square. I am going to replace this one by this form so I can write this thing as 104 whole square. Now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 4 and here's our next step. Let's go ahead and take the square on both sides of this equation 3 and here I have copied down this equation 3. Let's go ahead and take the square on both sides of these equations left hand side and the right hand side as well. Now let's go ahead and expand the binomial on the left hand side by using this well known identity a plus b whole square. So we can write our left hand side as a x whole square plus 2 times a x times b y and then plus b y whole square equals to I'm going to leave the right hand side same 104 whole square and now this equation could also be written as a square x square plus 2 times a x times b y plus b square y square equals to 104 whole square. Let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 5. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and compare these equations 4 and 5. We can see that the right hand sides are same. So therefore we can equate their left hand sides as well. And here I have copied down this left hand side of this equation 4 on this left hand side. And likewise I just copied down this uh, left hand side of this equation 5 over here on the right hand side. And now we can see on the left hand side a square x square and this a square x square on the right hand side they are gone. Likewise b square y square 
on the left hand side and this b square y square on the right hand side they cancel each other out so we ended up with just simply a square y square plus b square x square on the left hand side equals to 2 times a x b y and now let's focus on this part a x times b y and here i have copied it down and this could be written as a x times b y and here we can commute a and b we can write b x times a y or we can simply write b x times a y and now let's focus on the left hand side of this equation a square y square could be written as a y whole square likewise plus b x whole square equals to 2 times I am going to replace this one by this I can write this one 2 times b x times a y now let's go ahead and move this right hand side to the left so we can write this one as a y whole square plus b x whole square and when we move this one on the left hand side we get negative 2 times b x and then times a y equal to 0 and now we can see the left hand side of this equation represents a perfect square therefore we are going to use this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square so that is going to give us uh, the left hand side is going to become a y minus b x whole square equals to zero now let's go ahead and undo this square on the left hand side by taking the square root on the left hand side and square root on the right hand side as well so this square and square root they undo each other so we are going to get a y minus b x equal to zero and this is what we were looking at over here a y minus b x so thus our a y minus b x value turns out to be zero and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye